What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Steve's Carney channel. Today, I am at my spot. I've had many of videos at this spot that most of you have never seen in your entire life, <laughs> including spins and snow and all kinds of good stuff. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to show you what the ZD Racing Pirate 2 has on the open pavement. So, other than that, let's get it. See a puddle. Uh oh, Lapo's died. Well, unfortunately, guys, I'm guessing this is uh. Just a teaser and you'll have to catch it next. Alright guys, so I guess we're gonna give this another try. I recorded at mother spot and I had to bring it home, charge the battery, come to mother spot. Let's uh give this thing a speed run. I'll have my lovely wife try to record the truck here. You got it in the picture? Yep. No, Jensen, back here. See that it was very off and it was really good. I'm having all kinds of problems now, the freaking ESC. Daddy, race. This controller. Well, you ain't quick enough to race this, so. I think I am. Yeah. I can beat it. Jensen, watch out. Oh my god, that's the best. Hey, Dad. Just like I can have a race here. No. Alright, guys. So, let's see what the uh, ZD Race and Pirate 2 does in high grass. Oh. I'm telling you right now, my freaking steering servo is not good. I don't believe it's the servo, I just believe it's the connector arms. For some odd reason, I don't want to turn them. And it won't center back. How ridiculous, right? Brand new truck. But let's uh, see if we can't follow the ZD Racing Pirate 2 and see what it does. <laughs> it's a grass cutter if I've ever seen one. I never seen you do about it guys this is the place where I live so I'm not playing in anybody's yard <laughs> took a souvenir didn't you as you can see Watch. But I do fine once I give it gas. That's one of the things I don't understand about the ZD Racing Pirate 2. Maybe I need to upgrade the steering servo or 
Is there something disconnected, something not connected? So here's a little pit. As you can see, there's a drain that goes under. And over here's the trench. Let's dip into the front of it. Let's see. Oh, well, that ain't bad at all. <laughs> it got all wet. See, I have it turned all the way left. It's not even going. What a shame. Yeah. Brand new truck. I haven't even had it two weeks yet. And I feel as if it's already broken. But. That's all I'm going to record for the day, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So, prior to the last <laughs> section of video you just watched, I went and got one of my two S lipos, <laughs> stuck it in there, and now my wheels don't even want to turn. I mean, I can drive it. They do that, but I got to do an eight-point turn, to turn that thing around. Is my servo saver too uh, saver too tight or what? Uh, I hope I don't get the race. No, I'm sorry, Jesse. You're not gonna get the race it. Come this way, boy. My servo works fine. It pulls the arms. The problem is all within the servo saver. Oh, yep, I see it. See if you can see it, guys. Right there. You have to check it out. There's within the facility of my problem. Hey guys. Yes, son. What's wrong? I'm not quite sure. What's that guy see? What? Get that brown Is that broken or is that the way that it's supposed to be with the landing groove like that? Oh no. Yeah, he's got the new wheel. Oh, 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 the new they, they're not coming here, Jesse. So, it's real. Jesse, they're not. Jesse, they're not. But, on that note, I guess I'm going to take these kids inside and, I don't know, try to fix the steering servo, I guess. And that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.